You know, I didn't really know what to expect when I first put this game in. All I know is that somehow I had acquired it, and it's been sitting quietly in my video game library for a few years now. I know I didn't get it when it came out new back in 2006, but yet, somehow it made its way into my collection. So I put it in for the first time the other day to see what would happen, and boy, was I surprised. First we start out in a lumberyard. I don't know why we're in a lumberyard. All I know is that we are the Burger King mascot, and as the Sneak King, we must go around and sneak and deliver food to all of the hungry workers. One of the first things I already noticed was no one cares that I'm here. Okay, so let's see. Let's start a mission. It's morning and you've got enormous omelet sandwiches to give away? Uh, and I have to make three deliveries to the hungry folks in this sawmill and consider this breakfast mission accomplished. Well, the only way you can deliver an omelette sandwich is to sneak up as the Sneak King and deliver it to them. Just by pressing A button. Blue highlighted field, that's where you can't go because that's their line of vision. Anything farther than that, uh-uh, they don't see it in the peripheral. Walk right up behind them, rub up against them, nope, doesn't matter as long as it's not within that blue field, you are a sneak master or a sneak king. Eh? Eh? Okay, I won't do that again. You know how I said this place is dangerous? Look at this! Who? Why? Oh, and what is this? People pass out? Okay, so that's another thing about all this, is all the people who are hungry, well, they're not hungry right away, but once they get hungry, they get so hungry so quickly, they pass out from exhaustion. You know what's really weird about this? No one cares. No, you're just working on a job? Hey, pass out. Hey, look at that. Another guy on the job? He passed out. Huh. Everyone's passing out. Maybe we should... Maybe we should call a doctor. No? Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. I've gotten a little bit sidetracked. So enough nitpicking about what people do and don't do on their jobs at work, and go more to the gameplay itself as the Sneak King. So let's take a bite into what the gameplay has to offer. Get it? Bite? Burgers? <laughs> okay, so one of the main elements as the Sneak King is to hide and scare people. Now that is a good hiding place. So as you can see, you just go into your place of choosing, wait for the unsuspecting person, and once enough time has passed, if you're lucky, you can go ahead and reward them with food. Cause look at these people, they are very happy. In fact, look at this guy, he's cheering you on, and he's like, do a dance. And speaking of dancing, take a look at this. Now in all seriousness, this game has a pretty good scoring system. They actually have five criteria. The first is your hunger multiplier. Depending on how close to fainting the person is, the better your score. Speaking of hunger, you have your flourish, you know, kind of jazz things up like that dance we just saw. Then we also have your range. That is how close the person are when you speak to them. And lastly, we have the chain. How many people have you successfully fed in a row without getting caught? So wait, that's only four things, and I said there was five. Oh yeah, I consider this fifth one, it's a personal one to me, that is not actually in the game, which is how long you actually manage to play the game. Now I lasted quite a long time before I took a break. I actually made it to the second, if not the third level. I can't remember at this point. All I know is that I gave out so many omelet sandwiches and burgers and tearing around dangerous trees that I want to complete all missions in the level. 
Not because I'm a completionist or anything, but just because I wanted to see what would happen. And it didn't disappoint when I finally unlocked the next level and made it to suburbia. Some lucky loggers at the old sawmill received a surprise gift from the king yesterday. His highness, somehow sensing that his hard-working subjects had missed the most important meal of the day, arrived with a big smile and a platter full of breakfast delicacies. Several of the stunned lumberjacks were interviewed afterwards, but it is unsure what they said, as their mouths were full. And you get to do it again. And it's essentially the same thing. So pretty much after five minutes in this game, you really know what you're doing from here on out. So I don't even know why I would keep on playing, but I continued to do so. In fact, I ended up playing for well over an hour, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but for something this simple, it really is. Just doing the same thing over and over and over again. And all in all, what I learned from this is they don't make omelet sandwiches anymore. I wanted to try one. So now here we are at the end of the video, and there's a few things to take away from this. The first being that the music that you've heard throughout the entire thing actually is not from the game. It's, I don't know, I found it on some random website like Incompetech and just played that on loop because I could not find the soundtrack for the game at all. So, for one, you've been lied to from the start. The second thing is enormous omelette sandwiches are no more. Apparently they haven't had them for a long time, so I can't even try one. And the third thing is, this is how I make my burgers. I thought I would share this with all of you. Is I go there, I used to put burgers and onion rings and fries together, but now they go ahead and do the onion rings for you. I add on a couple fries, which clearly are bigger than ever before, and it makes the perfect awesomest sandwich and no other place has it as well as this now despite McDonald's having better fries that is my Burger King sandwich so with that I'm gonna go I'm gonna eat this up uh, pretty much just contemplate about the things that we've learned and if you like this video please hit that like button but more importantly than anything else is if you really enjoyed it to share it because that's the only way that we can grow as a channel is thanks to you guys not just liking the videos but sharing them with other people so they can also watch it and continuously share so i'm link584 and you know what i don't know what i don't have i, I do not have an end thing this has been one tasty game Th this has been one tasty episode mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> thanks for that sweetie you're welcome Bye bye Thank you.